Well, what a night it's been for Liverpool here in Munich. Jurgen Klopp's side booking their place in the quarter-finals of the Champions League, and they did it in style. 3-1 winners against Bayern Munich at the Allianz Arena. Thoroughly deserved. I thought it was uh, you know, a, a massively mature and controlled European away performance from the Reds. There was a lot of talk going into this last 16 second leg about the fact that Liverpool hadn't produced on their travels in Europe. You know, you think of the insipid, error strewn displays in the group stages in in Naples and in Belgrade and in Paris. Um, but Liverpool were absolutely transformed tonight when they needed a big performance. Um, I thought to a man, uh, they were absolutely immense. A couple of real standout performers. I think you know, Sadio Mane is enjoying the 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 best run of form of his entire career at the moment. You know he's absolutely flying, and um, I gave him my man of the match. I thought he tormented Bayern's back line. I think, um, and we spoke before the game about how that was a potential weakness Liverpool could exploit. Uh, Mane against Rafina who of course was uh, was in the side in place of the suspended Kimmich and uh, you know that that's exactly how it panned out I think Mane was a you know a real thorn in Bayern's side it was um it was a, it was a difficult opening 20 25 minutes for the Reds I think you know there was a couple of a couple of scares there was a penalty shout when Lewandowski went down there was another occasion when um, Thiago fired wide after a mistake from Firmino. Liverpool took time to settle. It didn't help losing Jordan Henderson to an ankle injury early on, um, but they dug deep and they showed a lot of guts and determination in that first half without playing particularly well, without keeping the ball as well as they can. Um, but you know, Mane really settled the nerves with a you know, it's just an absolutely exquisite opening goal. Of course, he's been given a helping hand from Manuel Neuer. Um, I don't know what on earth Neuer's thinking, because when Mane, you know, it was a great first touch from you know a pinpoint lofted pass from Virgil van Dijk, but Mane still had a couple of defenders in close proximity. He had a lot to do, but Neuer from you know Russia blood racing off his line to the edge of the box. Suddenly, the chance was there, and Mane's so alert. You know the the exquisite turn to just to get away from Neuer and then you know the the peace of mind and the composure to uh to unleash a, a sublime chip over the, the the waiting defenders and into the unguarded net and um you know that Liverpool Liverpool really kicked on after that you know they um they could easily have added added to their lead before the break then you know they out of nowhere really Bayern hadn't really been pushing but they get themselves back on level terms um, unfortunate for Joel Matip with the own goal because I thought I thought he could hold his head high. I thought he had a a great performance. Joel Matip, you know, he he really did a job. And Lewandowski, he could be proud of his night's work. But um, you know, no real blame attached to Matip for the goal. I think you know it was Gnabry who got him behind Andy Robertson and uh, you know low cross where you know it, Matip had to try and deal with it. He ended up bundling it into his net. But what was most impressive for me tonight was the way Liverpool responded to that second half. You know that was that was as good a, a second half away performance in Europe as, as you'll, you'll ever see. Um, you know when you think we're talking about a Bayern side, you know you have to go back to I think 2011 for the last time they failed to reach the quarterfinals of this competition. Yeah, they're not the same force that they have been, but you know they're still. You know they're they're always up there, always competing in this competition. They've got a vast amount of European experience, but second half they never never laid a glove on Liverpool, and that was down to the control that Liverpool showed. I thought they were absolutely rock solid defensively. Virgil Van Dijk, you know, you you run out of adjectives to describe him, describe him because you know absolute colossus again tonight. As we said, Matip did well alongside him. I thought Trent Alexander Arnold. Had a decent game as well, and you know, in front of them, the midfield worked so so hard, and the second half for Liverpool was about keeping that organisation and control, um, and and then trying to make it count on the counter attack, and um, you know, Alison Becker was very rarely troubled in that second half, and obviously Liverpool had you know the balance of the tie was in their favour with the away goals rule, um, but. You know they they just stepped it up. What was it? Twenty minutes to go when Milner has delivered an absolute beauty from the corner. Van Dijk has soared highest to power home ahead of his first Champions League goal. So a great moment for him. 
and then uh, you know late on rubbing salt into into gaping wounds really with um, you know one of the best assists you'll see in the competition all season Mo Salah with the outside of his boot picking out Mane at the at the far post he he nods in and uh, you know that's a a massive victory for this Liverpool side you know a lot, a lot of talk about whether going out of Europe might help enhance their chances of winning the Premier League title Klopp and his players to be fair have been having none of that you know they they are absolutely determined to go flat out in both these competitions and rightly so because you know why why can't Liverpool go for go for both of these big prizes um you know what what is that without question is no one will fancy getting Klopp side in the quarter final draw when when it's made on on Friday morning you know this competition has opened up really with PSG and and Real Madrid and Atletico going out um of course four english sides left in it as well um so it's it's just an absolutely mouthwatering prospect. You know, this is a special Liverpool team we're watching at the moment. You know, they're they're right up there in the thick of the Premier League title race. Now they're in the last eight of the Champions League, um, and this was a you know a, a really a, a real night to cherish in Bavaria because it was the night when Liverpool really reasserted their credentials as a an absolute powerhouse on the European stage.